Super Bowl legend anytime, <laughs> any day. You just saw that on the Glees for today. So we are so, so, super excited to be here, Francisca. Yes, super excited to be here. Perhaps you'll start up with the story someone that's trending. Yes, uh, let's talk about the mechanic guy uh, that made rounds in the course of the week. A young man that received an alert of uh, 10.8 million naira precisely from a boss he happens to work with. Somebody who normally comes to f he fix his car. Somebody who goes to the, the mechanic shop to fix his car. So somebody he knows in person. So the young man was about, the boss was about transferring 1.8 million based on the story that, that the guy said himself on Twitter to a contractor. And the fact that he had the mechanic on as one of the beneficiaries on his bank app, he mistakenly transferred the money to the mechanic guy. The mechanic guy saw the credit alert, called the guy and said, you transfer some amount to me. And that was history. But for me, what became more like, uh, what became surprising to me was the reactions of some Nigerians. The mechanic guy got 50K for being a good person from the guy who, had, who owns the money. And some Nigerians felt that, no, 50K is small. Maybe you should have given him 2 million or 3 million, Francisca. Oh, come on. People should understand that 10.8 million naira, it's, you know, perhaps a business money. Yeah. So for you to get that, you know, in return, 50,000 naira, I think we should have even applaud the person who have given 50,000 naira. But then again, I ask myself, at what point do we get to a stage that if I do good, I should be paid back? At what point? And I think we need to start to eradicate that away from our, um, you know, from our way of thinking or our mentality. Because, honestly speaking, I for one, if I do good to you, I don't, I don't even expect anything. Because it is when I expect, then I get, you know, by the time I, by the time I must have expected, yeah. and what I expected wasn't what you I'll showed be, me. I'll then be I'll be discouraged. So when I do good, I, I do good without even expecting anything. I, and I think that is where we should always pay, focus on. Uh, focus yeah. on. Mm. And I would commend the guy for what he has done, Francisca. So Let's tomorrow I will also commend him for what he has done. Moving on on to our next story on what's trending is where a 60-year-old man has come out to say that please we want to enjoy our honeymoon and stop dragging us on social media i'm talking about a 60 year old man who is in Kano, allegedly got married to 11 year old um girl and he's saying that please stop stop dragging us we want to enjoy our honeymoon Matthew. Mm. uh he came out to say uh initially he was he was uh he was confident enough to put it out there yes that he married her because he loves her there was no people were putting it to him that this girl is too young this girl is too young. Why must you marry a girl of this age? There was no issue. He wasn't even talking about the age at that time. He felt, I love her, marry her, I'll take care of her, stuff like that. But when he realized the gravity and how the disgust mm. at which Nigerians expressed, he came out to say the girl was 21. 21. You understand? Be that as it may, we could see the lady, we could see her, you could tell if she's 21 or not. Mm. Either people say, okay, some people don't really look their age or not. You could tell in your heart of heart. You could look at this image on your screen at this point and tell if this girl is 21 or not. Mm. For, for goodness sake, what exactly are we still looking for? If I'm 60 years of age, I should know that at that point in my life, I should have a daughter that should be around 20, 25. Mm, mm. 20, 25. Mm, so if, uh, if I decided... That's if you got married on time. Yes, if, no. Even if I get married, if, even if I get married at the age of, age of 30, or if for, I get married at the 40, age of 40, yeah, true. You should I, will have, I should yeah. still have a child that should be around 19, 20. I, I agree. If I get married at the age of 35, I should have a child that should 25. be around the age of 25. So for me, these are the factors. And we also note that in that part of the, of, of the, country, of the divide of the country, people get married very, very, very early. early. So situation whereby you look at somebody who ought to be your daughter and you start having some very, some level of intimacy with that person, how will you feel? But then again, Matthew, I also blame or I condemn parents who give out their children poverty. at that tender poverty. age, no matter what poverty. the circumstances. When, when, yeah, po when, when, when poverty has been weaponized, 
a family that can barely 11 feed year old. an 11 year old a 13 year old a 15 year old for christ's sake the person should be 18 before he or she would be able to have that consent of their own and be able to decide that, okay this is what is good this is what is not let me tell you francisca poverty has so much been weaponized especially in some part of the country that they will do anything just to survive mm. that girl came from a home where there is a father and there is a mother mm. and they willingly gave her the girl you could see that she was legitimately married to the man, to the man. so in fact what is we must come out to begin to condemn things, condemn like, things this. like this because True. it is this young girl should be in school she should go to the university go to the polytechnic and have a life of her own or even acquire a skill acquire a skill this is not a time for marriage this is not a, it's for me it's an abuse it and is it, and it it's shouldn't child abuse. it shouldn't be encouraged in any way we must say it the way it is mm. but uh, away from that let's talk about uh an individual who had been in entertainment all her life but decided to also dive into politics we're talking of funke akindele who happens to be uh the deputy governor the deputy governor uh candidate for the last election in lagos for a particular political party and the things didn't turn out the way funke expected and funke took to her instagram page deleted all political images videos and pictures she posted and she said it was an experience and she's back to funke diary at this point you, you what what will you say about funke's experience you should be encouraged before those who are berating her that you punched above your weight shouldn't we be encouraging people like this well first off what i have to say is i must commend her for that um you know for that charisma and also that character that she was able to portray out there in terms of going into politics but one thing she has to understand they say when a man falls it is not the end of his life absolutely and that's the reason why i encouraged what's his name um um, um your Edochi, Your, uh, yeah. he came out to tell her that I too have been here before. Absolutely. I've done it before. And for the fact that I didn't go or the things didn't turn out the way it was supposed yeah. to turn out did not mean that I had to delete everything that has to do with politics. Yeah. Because that could be a form of reference or you, you, know, you giving you, up. You know, uh, you giving up. Even sometimes you can refer to it to say, yeah. oh, I was one time yeah. a candidate, yeah. oh, a deputy. So, so people of a, go there and verify. Go to she my understand. Instagram page, go to she my Twitter page so and verify. I felt, so he was like, no, you shouldn't have deleted it. Yes, the team might not have turned out the, the way, way you, you expected but the truth is if you want to build yourself into that line yeah there are ways there are processes you don't yeah. you can't just go there and you know how the system yes. works here in nigeria you can't just go there and say you want to you know be there you have yeah. to start from somewhere could be this could just be a starting point for you you never can tell perhaps come back again and recontest you allow people to know what you have done do you understand so for me i feel it was not good enough for funke if you ask me that's my honest opinion but then again it is what she felt that i want to do and she has done it but i felt no you should have just allowed it then maybe in subsequent um in time maybe you never can tell what will happen so i understand her pain anyways moving on onto the next story on what's trending is where a Ghanaian actor talking about frank has come out to say that hey people I beg, stop shaming me and my wife. I'm okay. I did not get married to her because of age. So whatever you people are saying, Omo, it's none of my business. People, 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 <laughs> people should, should learn how to, you know, this, mind me, your for business. For me, this on social media. Should, mind your business. You should learn to take a chill pill. You <laughs> could, you could, you could see, you could see the images. <laughs> not like, not like he got married to her when she was like, like old. You could see that they got married they were together they dated they were both like young you could see the images that these were people who dated for a while before they got married and in the course of childbearing definitely you expect some changes mm. in the body of the woman mm. and maybe if you also see i could also reference this particular photo where she was putting on native mm. and her hair her makeup was not as enchanting as it ought to be mm. so people were uh, immediately referencing that saying she was old mm. but to me that shouldn't be it she you could look at other yeah. pictures when they were together she was young she was lively she was good to go and they were happy together every woman that take care of a home this, these guys have three kids together 
They have a guy and they have two girls. So the woman practically is responsible. You know how we do in Africa. Mm, mm. The woman practically devotes her time mm. in taking care of the kids, ensure they do well and all that stuff. So when it comes to a certain stage, you don't begin to say the woman is old. I, I just hope that we begin to respect people's privacy is of importance. And it, where, is it, where is it written in yeah. any co uh, constitution or even the, in the Bible to say that you must get married to somebody, the woman must be younger than the husband? Absolutely. Where? It's not, Please, it's not for, 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 for me, it's not. It's Provided not, they have, they, they love each other, yeah. they are happy with each other. I don't think there's a reason why people should always troll at people, especially celebrities or actors. We've seen a whole lot. So, please, it is not a topic for discussion, I beg. Yes, and away from that, uh, let's also talk about another age as a factor <laughs> in a relationship. A 92-year-old billionaire, uh, a, a precisely a medium ago in the U.S., finally found love again. 92 years of age after his fourth divorce. He sorted out his fourth divorce in court and he finally found love again. And several persons are saying, if the first one, the second one, the third one couldn't stay, the fourth one, and is this, are these women just dating this man for money? Because 92 year old. 92 year old. Well, 92 year old what else? Is you could see, for? you could see that the man, man, the man might not be as functional as possible in the other room. Even the aside man, from that, the man, no, which is also highly imperative. Don't dodge it. We don't shy away from it. It is imperative. Uh, at 92. At 92. No, it is it's imperative in every marriage. I'm not talking of relationship. Uh, 92 marriage, years. Yeah. What are you? That, that, years. That's what I'm saying. It might not be that functional. So, what exactly entices? What is what? What is enticing in this marriage? Because at 92. I'm expected to have grown to that level with my wife. Mm. My wife should also have grown through the years with me. And she should be around maybe 70 in her early 60 mm. or something oh. like that. Then there is a balance. Yeah. But when at 92, I am now trying to still have one woman even in age 50. The discrepancy <laughs> will still be there. Let's not well, shy away from it. Um, We're going on a break at this point to serve you a song of the week as well as a quotable quote. Something very, very inspirational coming on the quotable quote for today.